In this video, I will be teaching you about the concept of logarithms, and I will be introducing you to the concept of ln and lg. So, logarithms. Now, before I actually get into what logarithms are, I'm going to write a very simple equation that you've likely seen before, which is 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. And we know what indices are. This is essentially saying that 2 times itself 3 times, or 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. Now what logarithms do is they give us a different way to express this exact same thing. So if we were to express this in quote-unquote logarithmic form, we would write this as log base 2 of 8 is equal to 3. And as I just said, both this and this are the exact same thing. It's just expressed slightly differently. And as you probably already guessed, log is short for logarithm. So we read this equation as log base 2 of 8 is equal to 3. And what it's essentially saying is that 2 raised to the power of some number is equal to 8. And the other side of the equation tells us that that number is 3. Let's look at another example to get the flow going of what a logarithm really is. So let's say here that we have to solve for log base 2 of 16. Now once again what this is saying is that 2 raised to some power raised to some power is equal to 16. Now we know that 2 times 2 is 4. If we multiply this by 2 again, we get 8. If we multiply this by 2 one more time, we get 16. So 16 is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Therefore, we write log base 2 of 16 is equal to 4. So once again, this is saying that 2 raised to some power, which is 4, is equal to 16. Let's look at a slightly more complicated example. Let's say that we need to solve for log base 5 of 125. Now, now, once again, what this is essentially asking is 5 to the power of what number is equal to 125? Well, we know that 5 multiplied by 5 is 25, and if we multiply this by 5 one more time, we get 125. So this is equal to 5 cubed, which is equal to 125. Let's write that more neatly. 125. So therefore our answer over here is 3. Okay, so this right here is known of as our logarithmic equation. So it's our logarithmic equation and this right here which we're more familiar with is our exponential equation and forgive me if I spelled anything wrong it happens sometimes this is math not English so the logarithmic equation and our Exponential equation are saying the same thing, they're just expressed slightly differently. Let's go over one more concept, which is slightly more intuitive, but you may not get it at first. So let's say that we're taking the logarithm or log base, let's say 27 of 1 is equal to something. So once again, this means that 27 raised to some power is equal to 1. And I encourage you to pause the video at this moment to try and solve this by yourself, and I encourage you to do this for the later examples also, just to make sure that you're understanding what's going on. So we know that any number raised to the power of 0, so including 27, is equal to 1. Therefore, our answer over here is 0. And this is applicable to almost any number. So let's say that log base a of 1 
will always be equal to zero, where a is a positive and it is not equal to one. So let's look at one more example. I know this may seem extensive, but understanding what's going on over here is very important. So let's solve for log base four of two. And what this is saying once again is that four raised to some power is equal to two. Well, we know that we can't multiply four by itself any number of times because this will always be greater than two because four itself is greater than two. But the relationship that we know that there is between two and four is that two squared is equal to four, which therefore means that the square root of four is equal to two. And we know that this is similar to saying four to the power of one over two. Therefore, we can say that log base four of two is equal to one over two. So once again, we were asking four to the power of what is equal to two, and the answer to that is one over two, because four to the power of one over two is equal to two. Something which we should note when we're solving logarithms or when we're dealing with logarithmic equations is that say for any logarithmic expression, log base a of x, a must be greater than zero and a cannot equal one and x must be greater than zero. And I won't explain that in this video. And if you're really interested, you can just search up some videos online, which will explain this pretty well. So two more concepts, which I want to go over very quickly is that, so if we want to take log base 10 of any number of any number a, then this is the same thing as saying LG of a and LG is just a term, a shortened term for log base 10. And another way that we can write this is as log of a. That means that whenever you see log with no base specified, then you can just assume that it's taken to base 10. Another term that you'll come across is called ln, and that's essentially log base to the base e of a, and this is equal to ln of a and kind of like LG ln is just a quicker way of writing log to the base of e and if you're wondering about what e is it's another number kind of like pi that's used in calculating and explaining compound interests and rates but that's not relevant for now okay so the lecture is over now but you're probably wondering at this point why do we have to learn about logarithms and I wonder the same thing when I learned about them so as you'll see later on, and as I'll talk about in my future videos, there are many rules and expressions surrounding logarithms. And by using those rules, we can make arithmetic expressions, which would otherwise be extremely lengthy and ugly, a bit neater and easier to solve. And you'll see more of that as we get more into it. But for now, you just need to understand the basic concept of what a logarithm is.